The inauguration of the DRC president took place at the Stade des Martyrs in the capital, Kinshasa. The ceremony was attended by several African heads of state at the 80,000-seat stadium. In his inaugural speech, President Felix Tshisekedi promised to unite the country, improve the economy, and end the insecurity in the East. What is going to be his mandate, his priority, is to develop the countryside so that the people are going to live in peace and security. And the secondly, the, uh, the war in East of the countries, this war is imposed by our multinational, as you know, because of minerals and so on. And the president wants this minerals to profit to Congolese people. Many Congolese were excited to witness the event. It is great joy to see our president swearing in for his second term. We saw presidents from other countries coming here to witness the ceremony. We ask God to protect our president and give him wisdom to lead the Congo. The DRC president took office following a disputed election which opposition figures described as a sham. The polls were marred by long delays a voting extension and the illegal possession of voting machines by some politicians. The election results were challenged in court, but the judges dismissed the petition. Some opposition leaders urged their supporters to take to the streets to denounce the president's re-election. But a heavy police and military presence kept them at bay. The Electoral Commission declared President Chisekedi the winner of the December polls with 73% of the votes cast. His main challenger, Moise Katumbi, came in second with 18%, followed by Martin Fayulu with 5%. President Felix Chisekedi has taken his oath of office with a promise to unite the country and in security and improve the economic conditions of all Congolese citizens. He faces a huge task of transforming this country that has been politically unstable for almost three decades. Chris Sochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.